Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis Secondary Mathematics Test 5165? These practice questions cover the subtopic of numbers, quantity, and algebra. Let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's jump right in. Problem number one. Which of the following represents the equation of the quadratic graph in factored form? A parabolic equation takes the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. When graphing this equation, the y-axis crossing can be determined by making x equals 0, i.e., f of 0 equals a of 0 squared plus b 0 plus c. f of 0 equals c. To determine the x crossing points, or where y equals 0, we use the formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Or, this can be written as x1 equals negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And x2 equals negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Looking at the given graph, we know that f of 0 is equal to c is equal to positive 6, i.e. c equals 6. Our possible solution must have c equals 6. Also, due to the fact that our parabolic curve is inverted, our solution is likely to contain a negative x squared. Of the given solutions, the following is likely to give us the correct parameters. Let's solve to confirm. Negative x plus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Negative x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Negative x squared minus x plus 6. a equals negative 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals 6. Using the parameters for a, b, and c, we now solve for x1 and x2. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, which is equal to negative negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 6 over 2 times negative 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus negative 24 over negative 2 equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over negative 2 equals 1 plus or minus 5 over negative 2 equals 1 minus 5 over negative 2 equals negative 4 over negative 2 equals 2. That's for x1. x2 equals 1 plus 5 over negative 2 equals 6 over negative 2 equals negative 3.
So this is our answer. Problem number two, solve the expression. All right, let's get started. We have four plus 10 I times three minus 11 I. So we've got 12 minus 44i plus 30i minus 110i squared. i squared is equal to negative 1. So now we have 12 minus 14i minus 110 times negative 1. That becomes 12 minus 14i plus 110, which becomes 122 minus 14. And there's our answer. Problem number three. A car is running at 100 kilometers per hour. Calculate its speed in miles per hour. So we know the car is running at 100 kilometers per hour. And we need to find out what that is in miles per hour. Now, one kilometer is equal to 0 0.6213 miles. So in order to find x here, we need to multiply this by 100. So in order to do that, we simply move the decimal point two spaces. And now we have 62.13 our answer. And there you have it. Problem number four. Which of the following expressions is the result of rewriting the following expression with rational exponents? Let's begin. We start with the fifth root of y to the power of eight raised to the power of one half. Now we have y to the power of 8 over 5 raised to the power of 1 half. That becomes y to the power of 8 over 10, which becomes y to the power of 4 over 5. And there's our answer. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you now have a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find in the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on test day. Bye for now.